Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, welcome to episode 5 of season 2 of Are You Afraid of the Dark? Last episode, because it was weeks since I watched the last episode, because of how I've been recording and with work and my free time and stuff, it's been ages, but last episode was The Tale of the 13th Floor, which from listening to the podcasts of You Afraid of the Dark that I like, I watch, like when I've watched my episode and edited it, I'll then listen to some podcasts about it. Apparently it's not a popular episode, a lot of people think it's a bit trashy. Uh, I kind of get it, it is a bit stupid and doesn't make full sense and the whole toy store, toy factory thing where the toys aren't actually toys, I get it, I get it, it is a bit silly but that's kind of why I liked it because I just remember it from being a kid I remember always thinking it was kind of one of those so cheesy, maybe so bad it was good episodes but there are quite a lot of people that think it wasn't great at all so hey mixed reviews on that episode, which is kind of interesting. I kind of enjoy seeing different perspectives, to be honest. But this episode is called The Tale of the Dream Machine. And genuinely, hand on my heart, not a clue what this one's about. What I do know is that quite a lot of people on the Facebook Are You Afraid of the Dark fan group that I'm on say that this is one of their favourite episodes of the show. So that leads me to believe it's a good one. But the Dream Machine, I was going to say maybe he, they go into people's dreams, someone, or... There's a monster that steals people's dreams, but I don't know if that'd be too similar to you know, the tale of the dream girl. Not the dream girl. What's it called? Final Wish. Tale of the Final Wish. You know where she kind of dreams about fairy tales all the time and then she goes into like the Sandman's lair or whatever. Um, so I don't know what it could be about, but I'm excited. My guess is Dream Machine. So, so far we've had two Kirsten, a Frank, and who was the last one? Because I can't remember. Was it Kiki? No, Betty Ann. Um... I'm going to go for Kiki just because since I'm still waiting for another episode from her since season one, we've had another Frank now, so it's time for another Kiki story. So let's jump into the tale of the Dream Girl. If you enjoyed this reaction, please subscribe to my channel, leave some comments down below. It's really exciting to be watching an episode that I can't remember uh, anything about. It's probably the first one since I started my reactions that I really couldn't tell you anything about what's going to happen. Exciting. Where were you? Hiding my story. Oh dear. <laughs> Are you sick? Laryngitis. Yo, I don't want your germs. All right, time. Stay away from me if you're sick. What is that? <laughs> I found it in the attic. Should have left it in the attic. Hey, it works. I type my story on it. <laughs> what for? Because my throat's killing me and I don't want to tell it. Go ahead, Gare. Be crazy. Throw away the rules. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be fair, Gary is very rule oriented. That. Go, Frank. Go, Frank. Go, Frank. But beware. For once a story is written. It no longer belongs to the author, mm. but has a life of its own. So it's about a typewriter that maybe the story comes to life. I think where maybe I don't remember this is because I got it confused <laughs> with the blob that ate everyone from the Goosebumps. That sounds like exactly the same story. The tale of the dream machine. Because in that one, there's a boy who found a typewriter, you think, and then he wrote a story and it came to life. So we'll see. <laughs> Every other story in Sean's notebook was about her, but Jennifer only thought of him as a friend. No. Too bad. House. I am sent with broom before to sweep the dust behind the door. What is this teacher? Your assignment is to write a short story. Your topic, but it's got to be at least two pages long. <gasps> two pages. I used to be so good at writing short stories in school. That's why I did want to be a writer for a while, but I just don't have the attention span for writing at the moment. This place is a disaster. I know my parents thought they were getting this great deal, but they spent a fortune from keeping it from falling down. Uh-oh. Ooh, that's You got a detour? Oh, no. How am I supposed to get up to my room? How dangerous could it be? What? Be careful, the stairs... So they actually locked off the daughter's room and didn't tell him? All right. Wait a minute. Whoa, this is wild. Cool. Do you know it's my absolute dream Ooh, like to own a house trash. where you discover like a secret room? Honestly, I would adore it. James Ellington, writer and inventor, disappeared in 1931 and was found dead one year later. Murdered. Mm -mm. <laughs> so this typewriter is killing people? Halloween dance. It was the night of the school Halloween dance. The night when anything could happen. And it did. 
Oh, hi, Dracula. What is your name, princess? <sighs> is it appropriate for a child in school to be dressed as a belly dancer? Okay, so whatever he's writing about, Nothing could have ruined the night. she's dreaming it. We moved to a dark corner of the room. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I had a nightmare last night. Can you believe that I'm still having kids' nightmares? Everybody does. But this was like so real. I was at the school dance and a vampire shows up. Weird thing was. Come on, put two and two together. The vampire. It was you. But it was exactly what I wrote. What are you trying to say? You think she's some kind of mind reader? Mm -hmm. Trapped. One cold and foggy night, Billy snuck into a crumbling old graveyard on a dare, searching for the grave of. Blind Is he gonna get Paul. buried alive? Here lies Blind Paul. <laughs> what I will say about the show is they do atmosphere really well for a kids show they nail sound design creepiness Who's there? even though this one's not scaring me it is creepy not as creepy as that creepy ass doll that came out in dark music though Ugh. Ah. creepy So you can't deny now that it's not a coincidence, surely. I'm not buying it. Does this sound familiar? Billy pounded on the closed coffin and shouting, No, let me out, help! I think this is what happened to Jennifer too. I wrote it, and you guys dreamt it. Mm. So it's not coming to life though. Or is that how it ends, that final twist? Because it did say that a lot of the people had died or gone missing. It's the typewriter. Listen, don't tell anybody about this, all right? Don't worry, I don't want to get locked up. Cool. Sean, my <laughs> man, this is going to be an amazing adventure. Sweet dreams. I mean, it is a pretty cool idea, what you could plant into people's heads. I'd use it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'd get, like, Chris Hemsworth saw Scott across the dance floor and immediately knew it was true love. <laughs> it's a dream I'm creating for you with this. This is a weird thing to dream. It's a dream machine. To write about. If I type out a story about somebody, they'll dream it. I need to find out if it's true. When I end this, I want you to call me, okay? Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> she, oh. Go, Jennifer. Go, Jennifer. And Sean. Hmm. What's she eating this time? Is she eating? Okay, kitties. Turn them <laughs> in. Yep, whatever that is. Now? Let's go. It was the night of the school dance. A night when anything could happen. And it did. Oh. Oh, okay. That would make sense. So if someone reads the story, they get sucked into the story. Which might explain why people went missing, because if they have like bad endings and stuff, presumably they die in the story. What's going on? This is my dream. If this is all coming true, that means Vampire opened his mouth, bearing his razor sharp fang fangs? Guys? Oh. Whoa! It's actually nice seeing like a group of people that all believe nice. and are trying to work it out together, if that makes sense. Or it's normally like, just discovered another feature for our little dream. there's one person on her own, or his own. Oh, she's got the trapped story. Yeah, there's normally one person who um, believes it all and is trying to convince everybody, but doesn't do it very well. But well, this time there's like a few of them. Yo, what does it mean? Uh oh, what's the matter? 
Guys, this isn't the only story I wrote. Just gonna leave that glass there, you dirty cow. All right. Oh my gosh, he's gonna steal like a tray of so baked goods. You don't want to know. Trapped by Sean. Okay, so she isn't taking the whole tray, but still. We don't find it un Billy snuck into a crumbling old graveyard on a dare. <laughs> he was. <laughs> Follow the food. She, was here. she took a bite and just left it. What a dirty bitch. Honestly. What a horrible woman. <laughs> I do love her character though. Please don't tell me she's eating, eating on the toilet. Don't back up. The stories come true. Gonna write another story. Make that come to life instead. About a, about a teacher, maybe. What? She's in the gym now. Right? Can I just say this story's meant to be about two pages long, and she's been to the kitchen. To the toilet. I'm now in the gym. <laughs> Read it. The typewriter stopped blowing, and all the stories ever written on it never came true. Ah, ah. I don't know what you did, but you did it. I was going to change something, Charlie. Man, I say we trash that. All the people that went missing. Won't we go missing anymore? Is there something I can do for you? <laughs> oh, okay, there's no final twist then. The headless warrior chased down each one of the midnight society one by one until they were too tired to run. And will she be dressed up as the headless warrior? Right. So cheesy, but I love it. Okay, guys, that was the tale of the Dream Machine. I actually really enjoyed that. That was good. I, it was exciting to watch one that I don't really remember. I mean, as I was watching it, things looked familiar. Like, the typewriter looked familiar, and the story's sort of coming to life. Although, I did kind of get confused between, like I say, the Goosebumps book slash episode, The Blob That Ate Everybody, because that's got a very similar concept. But in that one, he just reads the stories, or types them, and they come to life. In this one, obviously, they, they were just dreams, but people did get sucked into the dreams to die, potentially. But, like, the teacher, as she was kind of eating food all the way through, that kind of triggered something. So I have seen it before. Obviously, I've seen every episode at some point. But uh, it had an interesting concept that I quite enjoyed. And I'm surprised with the ending being what it was. I mean, it seemed a bit of a cop-out ending. It was like not having three wishes is enough, so you just wish for more wishes, which is not allowed because it's too easy. Just writing, the story never came to life seems a bit too easy of a solution to solve the problem and also that would mean that tons of missing people because we saw in the little hidden area where the typewriter was there was like newspaper articles about people who were dead or missing whatever would all be coming back because the typewriter had never done what it did and then therefore maybe i don't know because uh, billy did remember being in the graveyard so maybe everyone else would remember the fact that they disappeared so i was going to say if the story never came to life the typewriter never would have been hidden away because it was never a real typewriter, like a, a magic typewriter. But at the same time, when Billy came back, he was like, ah, oh, because he was in the grave. So maybe everybody would re remember what had happened to them. But I would have a short thought with the Euphrates Dark being the Euphrates of the Dark, that they would have solved, they would have done that, they would have brought people, the, they would have stopped the typewriter, made none of the stories come true, and there would have been like a final little dark twist that, I don't know, something that would have led to them being alive never happened anymore 
or something like that. Do you know, just something like Are You Afraid of the Dark? Likes to do dark twists, like Series 1 did loads of them. Pinball Wizard, dark ending. Dark music, dark ending. Things like that I would have expected, but Season 2, I don't think, is having as many dark endings this time. Final Wish sort of did, because it kind of hinted that she'll be trapped there forever. Uh, Midnight Madness didn't really have that dark ending. Yeah, I think it took over the cinema, but that wasn't massively traumatic for me. Um, Locker 22 was a good ending. 13th floor, semi-dark, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed it. I actually liked all the characters in this one, even the ones that I wasn't meant to like. Luckily, there was no bully characters, that I, at least where I remember. Because normally when it's in a school setting, there's like the good guys and the friends and there's the bullies. And this one was just like a group of friends that were trying to work together to solve a problem or find out what was going on. And that was exciting. And even the teacher who wasn't like, she wasn't even like a bad teacher. She actually just didn't particularly like her job. All she wanted to do was eat. I quite liked her. I thought I quite, found her quite amusing. And the fact that she was like on a bike, eating, and in the toilet, eating, and stealing stuff in the kitchen. Yeah, I don't agree with it. And yeah, it's wrong to, she took a clean glass, put it under that drinks machine, just left it there. And then she took a bite out of this pastry cake thing, and put it back on the tray and just walked off. That's not cool. But I just found her quite amusing. And yeah, overall, I'd say all the characters were good. I actually quite enjoyed the storyline. It was really nice to see, interesting to see, the stories from the true perspective. So when, say, the Halloween dance story, the actual story that he wrote when they met the Halloween dance, they were like falling in love, and he turned into a vampire and killed her. Well, he was a vampire and he, killed, and he bit her. But then seeing it again from Sean and Jennifer's story... And then seeing it again from Sean and Jennifer's perspective, where they're like, we're trapped in the story, what do we do? But they can't stop the story from developing as the person reads it. So they have to go along with it, they have to go through the dance, and he has to bite her. But it was interesting seeing them talking as, as themselves, rather than the characters. And just that dual perspective was kind of quite fun to watch. Okay. Overall, I'd say that was actually a better episode than I expected it to be. Not that I expected it to be a bad one, but when I knew it was like a storyline about typewriter and things start to come true, I was, wasn't sure how to feel, just because of the Goosebumps episode, which is not my favourite one. But it didn't really go for... Well, it did go for scares, I suppose, with the graveyard getting trapped in the coffin. But yeah, it was interesting, actually. And like, like I say, I liked all the characters. I liked the storyline. Could have done with a little twist at the end. That would have made the story even better for me. But overall, it was a it was a really strong episode. So that was my reaction to Season 2, Episode 5, The Tale of the Dream Machine, told by... Read out by Gary, but written by Kiki. So we'll have it as a Kiki story. Let me know what you thought of the episode in the comments below. And just... Because I know this is quite a popular episode, so I'm interested to hear your thoughts. And subscribe if you enjoyed this reaction. And also... For those who are watching this, which is not many of you, <laughs> all these reactions will be going on to Patreon in the new year because my Are You Afraid of the Dark reactions are getting blocked from the US, which a portion of my Are You Afraid of the Dark watchers were in the US, so I'll have to put a video up speaking to them because they won't see this unless using a VPN. But yeah, I'm going to put all these onto Patreon in the new year just so that anyone who wants to watch it can. And as always, my name is Scott. Hope you guys are well and staying safe. If you enjoyed this reaction, please subscribe to my channel. Leave the comments down below. I'll see you all next week for episode six. Bye, guys. Take care.